In this video, we will show you how to properly disassemble, maintain, and reassemble your Hilti DX76 powder actuated tool. Taking care of the tool is key to ensuring peak performance and productivity. Before starting any maintenance, be sure the tool is unloaded. Cycle the black handle on top of the tool back and forth a few times to expose any cartridge strip that may be inside. Remove the cartridge strip by gripping the tab and pulling it out of the tool. Now you're ready to begin disassembly. Begin by placing the cycling grip in its forward starting position. Remove the nail magazine or fastener guide, piston guide, and drive piston. Grasp the nail magazine and unscrew it. Pull the piston from the piston guide sleeve cartridge chamber assembly. Then, remove the stop ring from the fastener guide or magazine. Next, remove the piston guide sleeve assembly from the tool housing. Hold the tool with the nose piece pointing up. Find the black release lever on the trigger guard and open it. Remove the piston guide assembly from the tool housing or body. Cleaning the DX76 will ensure smooth and efficient operation. Ideally, this should be done every day after use, but at least within 5,000 fastenings. Parts that show powder residue on them should be cleaned. A cleaning kit is included with the Hilti DX76 and can be purchased separately when needed. To begin, use the cleaning kit's wire brushes to remove any powder residue on the inside or outside of the various parts of the disassembled tool. At the back of the piston guide sleeve chamber assembly, use a small brush to clean out the cartridge seat. Once the brushing is completed, spray Hilti lubricant on the brushed parts, but not the cartridge seat. Apply sparingly and wipe with a cloth to leave a fine film on the parts. Use only the specially formulated Hilti spray lubricant for powder actuated tools. Besides cleaning, you should check the most common wear parts on the tool and replace as necessary. Check the piston for signs of wear at the tip or if it is bent. Be sure the stop ring isn't broken or bent. Above all, if the part looks worn, replace it. Now that you've cleaned and inspected your DX76, it's time to put it back together. Start by setting the piston guide sleeve assembly into the tool housing. Be sure the black release lever is still open and push the piston guide sleeve assembly into the tool housing with the slider up. Close the black release lever while applying light pressure to the piston guide assembly. Note that the lever can only be closed while the guide assembly is pressed into the tool a few millimeters. Set the piston into the piston guide sleeve. Inserting the big end of the piston first, as far as it will go. Set a piston stop ring into the fastener guide or fastener magazine. A stop ring must be installed rubber side down. It should snap into place and not fall out. Holding the tool securely, push the fastener guide or fastener magazine firmly over the installed piston and into the piston guide assembly to engage the threads of the collar. Maintain pressure on the fastener guide and screw it into the tool until it stops and then turn back approximately one quarter turn until it clicks into place. Spray a small amount of lubricant into the gap in the housing behind the cycling grip. Cycle the tool once back and forth. Before reloading your tool for use, be sure to dry fire the tool to check that it's operating properly. Without loading a cartridge, depress the tool against a firm surface and pull the trigger. The firing pin should release, making an audible click. Check that the cycling grip can slide back and forth. If the tool is equipped with a magazine option, load a strip of nails in the magazine to perform this function test. 
Be sure to check out more videos on the Hilti North America YouTube channel, including our how-to video series. For more information about tool maintenance, refer to your tool owner's manual. For more complex repairs, contact Hilti Customer Service.